The Clifford family of FMR Group in Blenheim developed and commercialised the R-Series vineyard sprayers with design that cuts spray drift and reduces chemical use by about 30%. In 2010, FMR Group won the Marlborough Environmental Awards Green Champion Award for Environmental and Sustainable Equipment. The FMR Group was originally founded by my father, so it's a two-generation business. He started out uh, as an apprentice mechanic, then he went on to build his own mechanical business. Uh, along the way, he added a couple of tractor franchises, eventually selling them off and retaining the machinery side of the business. In 2001, we began to focus on the viticultural markets. Uh, we looked at importing some key products from European partners and in the ensuing years built up a product portfolio that was based around viticulture. In the later 2000s, uh, we saw an opening in the industry for innovative products that were designed and built to handle the New Zealand and Australasian conditions which is where we began the manufacturing of the sprayers which we see today. Typically there's been two row viticulture sprayers around for some time, both in New Zealand and in other wine growing regions. In the early part of the season particularly, um, you're spraying a very small target. Um, it is difficult to get the spray that you're putting out to adhere to that target. Therefore there's a lot of wastage um, that obviously ends up in the form of airborne drift and losses to the ground. The three advantages to the FMR R-Series would be the financial advantages from the saving of the chemical, the environmental advantages from the loss of drift to the ground and airborne, and then the social advantage from your neighbours not receiving the drift. Original idea, FMR was building conventional vine sprayers and discussions with vineyard owners and operators who really thought it's got to be a better way. We worked closely with a particular couple of growers and come up with a lot of different ideas around it. Looked around what was available and around the, the globe and couldn't find anything really that was going to do the job. So we started working on adapting our current sprayer down the recycling route. The main working area is, is right where I'm standing here and usually it'll be a great pro. So we're spraying from both sides, um, nozzles here and, and here with fan assist. Um, so what we do is we're, we're blowing from here and from here, and, and the suction is on the opposite sides. So what we're creating is a, a vortex in the centre of the vine, and droplets that don't hit the target, the grapevine, go through and look into the shroud, run down and through the filter here and get sucked back to a tank, go through another filtration system. From the success of the two-row towbine model and the demand from customers to then multifunction their harvesters, we developed the three-row R-series sprayer. The fact that they can use what used to be a piece of machinery that parked in the shed 11 months of the year, they can now get out, put a sprayer on its back and do a season with that. The reason to go to three was due to costs and running a more expensive machine. Um, in the two row version, it's stacked up to tow with a, a what would say a $50,000 tractor. In the, to pull a harvester out of the shed that was worth sort of four times as much as that, it, the figures needed to stack up to justify, uh, justify using a machine of that cost. The fact of the recycling side of it has got to be great especially in the sustainability side of things, you know, you're recapturing that spray and reusing it. In a three-row form, you can cover a lot of ground in a day, and that's very important to a bigger customers that are, are doing a bigger area. The feedback from the market has been very, very good. We are constantly being told from our clients the amount of money they are saving in each season the fact that they are spraying in a lot stronger winds than they have been historically able to, and that they're getting very good comments from any neighbouring houses. Mainly the viticulture industry has been the target. Um, there have been some units sold and used successfully in the black current industry. Also, there are other potential markets, but the units would need to be adapted to suit them. The sprayers, on average, 
save between 20 and 40 per cent of a grape grower's annual expenditure. This in cold hard cash equates to anywhere from as low as maybe $10,000 for a smaller grower and up to as high as forty dollars to $50,000 saving for a large scale grower in a one growing season. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.